I think coming to Queen's kind of gave a different perspective on archaeology as well, because obviously it's not always just English archaeology, which lots of English universities kind of focus on. But um, as well, Queen's offer things like field trips and excavation modules where you get hands-on like active practice in it, which is sometimes it's kind of rare to find that, especially with such professionals in the field that like teach us and you get to know really well. It's pretty impressive. We study things in geography, in anthropology, some science, some philosophy, some history, obviously. We've just learned that it's not all about what you can see. We now know by reading bumps in the ground that that's a ring fort. That was for cattle and like stuff we wouldn't have known before. And that's been probably my favourite bit. We went to Rome, Rome field trip last semester. And we weren't going as tourists, we were going as archaeologists. The fact that we got that perspective kind of changed everyone's point of views really and it didn't just make it oh look there's pretty things it was thinking of it critically and analyzing it which i think we all found really beneficial and it's helped us in our work i think everything somehow relates to archaeology you can like do a housing development you have to get archaeologists in to know what's underneath we learn about data handling and forensic stuff so quite a few people that have studied archaeology sometimes go into like the police force and that kind of aspect um, you also can learn about the heritage, so so many people become heritage management and like teachers. Like, it's just the most relatable thing I can think of because it has so many crossovers with different subjects.